Thanks for dropping in. In this video, fan goes whir, PC does nothing, I get a stonking FPS result, and I get a free unexpected motherboard with my CPU backplate. The other day, while doing my usual nerding on eBay, I came across this auction for MISC computer spares. The photos show we get a motherboard, which was AM3, which had a heatsink and fan on, and I always get interested in what might be under the heatsink and fan CPU-wise in these circumstances. There's also some RAM on display, as well as a graphics card, and it had a £3.99 start bid, plus £3.69 postage, and was due to finish soon. Now only a sad, pathetic nerd would bid on such an auction, surely. Once it arrived, I had a look at what I got for my £7.68 total. On first glance, it looks like packaging-wise, they'd used as much protection as Adam and Eve after a conversation along the lines of perhaps there should be a few more of us. We did get a graphics card that looks to be an HP OEM card. It's got HDMI and DVI-I output, so a passive VGA adapter could be used for analog output if wanted. Looking at the codes, it is the fairly uncommon GeForce 405, 1GB, which is basically a faster clock GeForce 210, so stuck on DX10, but I'll have a look at that in a bit. There's 4GB of DDR3 memory. We also get what looks to be a TV tuner card, which I guess may have been powered by an internal USB port, which has now been cut off, so this is probably junk. We also get a standard 80mm fan, and then the motherboard, including the backplate. This is an Alpinia RS780L Micro ATX AM3 motherboard, which is an OEM board for an HP desktop. And we also get some free included dust bunnies. The motherboard itself looks to be in good condition, with no blown caps that I can see. However, I couldn't resist any longer to see what CPU we get in this heatsink lottery. And we get a Phenom 2 X4 830 chip. Pretty good. So does it work? I decided to just go for it. The motherboard has a VGA out on the back, and unlike these days where most CPUs have integrated graphics, but then there are also a lot of F SKUs without, so motherboard outputs may or may not work. In this era, no CPUs had their own graphics. So if a motherboard had graphics outputs, then it is on the motherboard itself, so should work. So I applied some new thermal paste. Plug the monitor into the VGA port. Attach the power supply to the motherboard. along with a keyboard and mouse, powered everything on, shorted the on switch and the fan went nutty, full speed like a jet engine readying for takeoff, but nothing else. No beeps, the motherboard had a surface mounted speaker, no output, nothing. I tried the obligatory CMOS clearing, which did not help at all. And then some different known working RAM, as I had been using the RAM that came with the motherboard up to this point. Still nothing. At this point I realised I hadn't actually checked the pins and socket yet, and a quick look showed that everything was fine. I then tried turning it on without the heatsink as the CPU would get very hot very quickly if it was receiving power and all was well. However it stayed cold, suggesting no power to the CPU, meaning the motherboard wasn't getting past the first stages of initialization. Therefore, 
either a dead motherboard or a dead CPU. Proven by getting the same manic fan action when I completely removed the CPU. As I didn't have a spare motherboard or CPU at this point, I put them to one side and had a look at the GeForce 405 instead. Building a known working test system, but using the eBay RAM to check that it's working, and straight away all is fine. Initially the fan on the GeForce 405 sounds like a mosquito on caffeine, but after drivers have been installed the fan comes under control and sounds a lot more normal. A quick look at the specifications shows the beast of a card we have here, enough to make any GeForce 4090 quake in fear. The OEM of the card is a Pegatron, and with its 1GB VRAM, DirectX 10.1 support and whopping 4.7GB texels fill rate from 2011, it is scary to think most CPU integrated graphics these days put this to shame, how times have changed. And yes, the 4 FPS we get in benchmarks says it all. Definitely one to use for, for adding extra monitors and old retro gaming rather than anything even remotely modern. So back onto eBay and found an auction for a Gigabyte GA907A DS3P AM3 Plus motherboard. It was listed for parts or not working, but on contacting the seller, who had a good feedback rating, it was because it had been removed from a working PC a few years ago and had been in storage and he no longer had the parts to test the kit. So I took a chance, and after the world's most pathetic bidding war, I won it for £2 and 1p, plus £5 PMP, so £7 and 1 pence total. From the photo, we can see that the heatsink mounting brackets have been removed, so this probably had a third party cooling solution back in the day, but I can transfer those from the non working Alpinia board anyway, so no biggie. So what turned up? Well, we may not have got the mounting brackets, but we did get the CPU backplate. Slightly random, but hey. And then the motherboard, which given its age, looks extremely clean and hardly any dust or marks, so it looks very well looked after, so I'm hopeful here. A closer look shows this is actually a very nicely spec board, and working examples can go for a few quid on eBay. I think people were put off this one because of its spares or repairs status, but with a bit of luck I might have got a bargain here. First off, transferring the mounting brackets from the broken motherboard to this one. Then rebuild the test system. As this motherboard had no integrated graphics, I used the now known working GeForce 405. And at first nothing. Have I got unlucky a second time with a dodgy motherboard? Or, less likely, generally, is the CPU dead? Well, neither, as reseating the RAM fixed all the issues. So the CPU is fine, and we now have a working motherboard CPU and RAM combo. So there it is. Given this motherboard has some value, I may sell it as a working combo on eBay, after checking to make sure the ports work. If it doesn't sell, I may end up incorporating it into a PC to give away at some point. We'll see. How much luck have you had buying secondhand motherboards and CPUs off sites like eBay? Please like and subscribe to see more videos, and let me know in the comments. Take care and I'll see you again soon.